What's going on everybody? It's Riley from Lacrosse Loaded. Today we're going to be checking out Cascade's brand new XRS helmet. This is Cascade's newest helmet for the current professional as well as upcoming seasons. Come to you. This is what everyone's going to want to get their hands on. So to start off, one of my personal favorites is the vision bar up front. A lot of you players may realize that these two bars are a circular figure, but when you get to this one, it's a little bit more flat. It's supposed to give you the most vision as you're looking through these top two bars. Another returning feature of the helmet is the SPR fit system in the back where we have this clasp that goes tighter and looser to get the ultimate customizable feel for you and your helmet. In terms of protection, we're going to move forward. We're going to start in the back of the helmet where we have the returning 7 technology in the helmet. This is that honeycomb shaped material that's going to help with the ultimate impacts that this helmet may take on the playing field. Up top, we're going to start with the EAFX technology in this impact zone at the top of your skull, which is made of the specific proprietary material that's going to keep you as safe as possible, as well as the Gen 5F technology up front that's going to take all those lighter impacts towards the front of the helmet. Along with the prior Cascade S helmet, we have now enhanced the jawbone feature, which comes around from the front up to the side of the helmet, which you see we have the double jawbone on this helmet. This is going to keep that rugged, protective fit on your helmet, keep everything in tight. Thanks to the customizable fit of Cascade's new XRS helmet and their 360 fit system, we recommend this helmet for all youth all the way up to the Premier Lacrosse League players at all levels. First thing you're going to want to do before you throw the helmet on is get the Velcro ear pads to your proper fit. They come with a small and medium adaption as well as if you're a bigger head guy like me, you just simply take the pad out and that is the large fit for this helmet. So as you can see, I am looking through the top two bars of this helmet. Yes, I know you kids refer to this as tilt. It's all about looking cool, but it's actually the safest way to wear the helmet. This helmet is designed to look through these top two bars, enhancing the vision bar technology. One of the biggest things that a lot of parents, coaches, and players don't understand is that the reason tilt is important is not only to look cool, it's more so for the fact of your neck protection. If you have that second bar syndrome and you're looking through here, like a lot of you guys are, you know who you are. The reason we want to have this tilt on our helmet is so this chin piece and that jawbone technology is protecting our throat. So once the ear pads are adjusted and the helmet's on your head and it feels nice and comfortable and you're looking through these two bars, you're going to want to use the SPR helmet system. You can pinch the clasp in the back or you can simply just push it towards the back of your head. I already have mine fit to me, so it's perfect. Make sure you clasp that as tight to your skull as possible to where it's still comfortable and you have just the slightest bit of shaking. Now that we're going to take our chin strap and put it in the helmet, we want to make sure these Cascade logos are on the vertical part of this helmet going up towards our skull. We're going to want to implement these through the inside of the helmet and up through this gap here, not between the bars. We want to come up above that top bar and make sure we clasp all the way tight on these fixtures on the side of the helmet. Make sure we do that on both sides. So now that we've got the chin strap basically mounted, we're going to take our hat off, throw our helmet back on. I recommend that we fit our helmets right in front of a mirror, okay? Whether it's your bathroom, your parents' bathroom, kitchen, dining room, wherever you want to go, wherever you got the biggest mirror in your house so you can see, you want to make sure that this cross point between the vision bar and the center bar of your helmet that is right towards the point of your nose while you're looking through these two. Next up, we're going to want to hold the chin strap, the actual chin cup to our chin, okay? While holding the helmet in the same exact place where we want it to fit, simply just put a finger under and hold that chin cup to your chin. From this point here, see all this slack coming out? We're gonna wanna take our helmet and pull all the slack out from underneath and put this fixture down a little bit, a little bit tighter. From this point here, once we have these top two chin strap sides all portioned out, we're going to want to fix the back two. Luckily for me, these are already at the perfect length to where I could just buckle these up, okay? Again, you guys should always be talking on the lacrosse field, so make sure that your helmet is not stopping you from opening your jaw, being able to talk, maybe throw your mouthpiece in. Work on that dexterity with your chin and your jaw and being able to fully talk while you're on the field. Once you've had all these four points adjusted and all clasped on, you're ready to hit the field with your new Cascade XRS helmet. If you or somebody you know is in the market for a brand new helmet, make sure you come check out the new Cascade XRS at Lacrosse Unlimited, any store by you or online.